Hey guys, I'm back with part 5 for this tutorial on how to build this modern mansion. Here in this one, we're going to be doing the interior layout for the second floor of the house. We should also have time to do some furnishings. So first off, before we head on upstairs, there is one more thing I do want to be sure to add here on the first floor in this bedroom. And that is just a nice pattern between the cyan, blue, and light blue concrete. So let's be sure to remove this one layer of white concrete. And now how about we maybe start with some light blue over here. Then maybe a strip of the cyan. And then probably some of the blue. Back to the light blue. Maybe some more cyan. Light blue again. Probably a strip of the blue now. And then, let's see, we have the cyan right here. Light blue. And then probably just some more cyan. So a little something like this. And that was just one other thing I wanted to do here on the first floor. We'll head on upstairs. And start doing everything here next. So I have all the other blocks we're going to continue using for the rest of the layout. So make sure you have the gray concrete, the white concrete, black stained glass panes, smooth quartz stairs, stripped spruce logs, dark oak trap doors, and dark oak slabs, and then some quartz bricks. And then I just have the sea lantern for an extra light source in case we need it. Let's start here at the opening where the staircase is. Make sure you have the white concrete. We're going to bring up a pillar of six, starting right here. Now right here on top of this white concrete, we already have the one, so we just have to place another five. So it's at the same height as this. And then we'll have another one right here on this white concrete. And now, make sure you have the smooth quartz stairs. We're going to have two upside down right here where these spaces are. We could delete a strip of the white concrete here. Replace it with the stairs. And then another set of stairs over here. Now let's switch to the black stained glass panes. We're going to have these right on top of all those stairs. So this is going to be the railing here for this opening. You could go ahead and now just get rid of those black stained glass panes. We're not going to be using them anymore. Now make sure you have the stripped spruce logs. And we're going to line up where we have this pillar. And it's going to be over here on this wall. So right next to the edge of where we left off these wood blocks. I'm going to bring a pillar just going all the way up. I'm going to do the same thing lined up with this pillar. So it'll be right here so that it's lined up with that one as well. And then I'm going to have a beam going across all the way above these pillars. It's going to connect into this one. So straight across like that. We're going to do the same thing right above this one. And then we're going to have another right in between these going across here. And then we're going to have another beam starting right here going all the way across to cover up all this wood here. Like that. And then this one here, we want to be sure to continue throughout this space. And all the way over to that side. And I'll just stop it right here because we're going to be sure to add a little bit more wall. Then back over here to this space, let's be sure to also extend this right here. And we'll just fill in three spaces because we're going to have an extra layer of the gray concrete going out here. But you know what, how about we do it right now? So just around the edge of the window here, an extra layer of this gray concrete. So now this wall is all smooth, it's not like jutting in or anything, just has a much cleaner look. And then we have this space over here. So, back to the white concrete. You can see we already have two spaces here. 
we want to be sure to place another four and we'll then fill all of this in all the way up until the logs that we have here. We can skip over these two spaces and then the rest of this wall is going to be filled in with white concrete. So now we have this doorway. Let's also add an extra two right there and then another set below that. This doorway is going to be a little bit shorter than the others because we have these floors going a step down. We want to make sure to be able to clear this space here. How about we go ahead and add the smooth quartz stairs right here as the step down. And then we're going to still have the dark oak trap doors on each side. So now we have this wall all done. And now let's flip around and start doing how about like everything over here. Let's continue with the stripped spruce logs. Right in between these two skylights, we're going to have a beam going across. Like that. Back over here. We want to add an extra layer right on top of this beam. And then another one right above this one, and this one. So now these are all double thick. We'll carry on back through here. We're going to have another layer right above this one. We'll just stop it here again. So just make sure you do have the two spaces here. How about we actually fill it in with the white concrete? There we go. So we have all that. And then we're going to need another one right in between the skylights here. So it's going to be here at the same layer as this top beam. We'll bring this across. And I'm going to stop it right here until we meet up at the edge of that gray concrete. And now I'm going to start filling in all of this with some white concrete. So just around the edge of all the skylights. So just an extra layer of white concrete going around here. Just like that. We'll do the same for this space. And then for this space. Let's fill in this space now. So you can see we already have two spaces here. We want to have another two. And we'll bring it all the way up till here. So we have to fill that space in. And then fill all of this as well. We're going to skip over these two spaces. And then the rest of this wall is going to be filled in up until here where we left it off. And then here is going to be a doorway that's just going to be four blocks. So we have to add three layers above it. And now let's add the dark oak trap doors. And everything is looking pretty good. So actually the main part all throughout here is complete. So let's head on over back to this side and we'll do this next. So we'll look over here first where the skylight is. Make sure you have the quartz bricks. And I'm just going to line up where the glass is. And I'm going to bring down five layers of the quartz bricks. So we're going to be left with a single space down here remaining at the bottom. And we don't have to worry about filling in the corners. We'll just go right over here and fill in the other three spaces. Which should also be lined up with the glass again. We'll do the same on this side as well. And then switch to the white concrete. We'll have a pillar of this going up on each side right in front of those quartz bricks. And then in between them at the bottom we'll have a step up with the smooth quartz stairs. So this is going to be a shower. 
And we will actually just leave this bathroom as it is. We'll finish the rest off when we do the furnishings. Let's head on out, over to this side, and we'll do this bedroom and bathroom. And then after this, we'll have the entire layout complete. So let's look over to this side first. Make sure to switch back to the white concrete. And I want to make sure we're on the fourth space lined up here. So if you look at this side, you're also lined up with the wall that we left here. And we just want to fill in these two spaces and we'll bring this all the way up to the ceiling. And then on this side, we want to be sure to have four spaces. So we're going to be leaving two right here for this doorway. Let's add an extra two at the top. And then right here, we're going to have some smooth quartz stairs for the step up. And then we need the dark oak trap doors on each side. So we have that doorway marked out. So all of this space here is now going to be for the bedroom. How about we go ahead and do the ceilings? So I'm going to have some stripped spruce logs for some beams. So I have one right here, leaving two spaces in between them. And then the dark oak slabs around the outer edge for the crown molding. Now for this bathroom, I want to be sure to have quartz bricks for the floors. So we're going to be able to delete some of this white concrete, but not all of it. So we could delete all of that. And you know what? All this back here, we'll just leave. Because this is where the bathtub is going to be, so it's going to cover all of this up. But everything else will still be able to have the quartz bricks. So all the parts of the floors that we're actually going to be able to see will be the quartz bricks, so this, like I said, will be completely covered up, so it's not going to be two different floor types. And now in here, how about we go ahead and also have some more dark oak slabs for the crown molding. And that is the last of the layout. So we have the layout completely done for the entire house. Now I'm going to head on back downstairs to the first floor. And we'll start doing a little bit of the furnishings in this video, and then we'll finish it off in the next one. So we'll start in this bedroom first. I gathered up everything we're going to be using for this bedroom. So make sure you have the smooth quartz blocks, the slabs, and the stairs. And then the white, gray, and light gray concrete. I have some top snow, birch trap doors, and rod, the wither and regular skeleton skull, some paintings, sea turtle eggs, some candles, anvil, jungle leaves, the gray, light gray, and white carpet, some lanterns, flower pots, and then I'm just going to be using the fern, and then the flint and steel to light the candle. Let's start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll fill in two right here. We'll then cover these up with birch trap doors. Switch back to the full blocks again. We'll have another five. On top of those, we'll have a layer of smooth quartz slabs. And then another two right here of the full blocks, covered up with the birch trap doors. Now let's switch to the white concrete. We can maybe have two rows of three here. And then maybe a strip of the gray and a strip of the light gray. And then around the edge of that, we'll have some smooth quartz slabs. And then right here, we'll have the snow for the pillows. On each far end of the nightstand, let's have an end rod. On top of those, we'll be sure to have a wither skeleton skull. Over on this wall, back to the full blocks of the smooth quartz, I'm going to have three right here. Let's be sure to grab these birch trap doors again and have these in front of that. I'm going to have a cutout in the wall right here. So let's be sure to maybe remove four blocks. This white concrete block we're going to replace with smooth quartz. Above that we'll have an upside down stair. And then here at the top we'll have... How about we do a slab? Yeah, that looks cool. And then on top of this... Let's grab the flower pot and the fern. 
we'll have it right there. And then we'll also have another flower pot with the fern for the rest of the space on the nightstands. This space right here will be maybe some sea turtle eggs, the candles, and another wither skeleton skull. So I have the sea turtle eggs stacked up over here, and then the candles stacked up on this side. We'll light those with the flint and steel. And then the wither skeleton skull, a little something like that. Let's look at this side. I'm going to have another cutout in the wall. I think right around here will be good. Yeah. So, leaving one space away from that doorway. We'll carve out these two spaces and we'll bring it up. Maybe right there. Let's be sure to replace this uh, dirt right here with some gray concrete. And then let's grab the smooth quartz stairs. We can maybe do two upside down like that. And how about some more slabs? We could have another end rod right here. With the wither skeleton skull. I'm going to have to kind of delete this slab. So that we could place it. How about we actually do something like this. With a slab. Kind of add another shelf in there. And then on top of that, how about some more sea turtle eggs? And then over here is where the anvil and the leaves are going to be. We can maybe also do the same thing here for this corner as well. And now we have the paintings. So I want to be sure to have a pretty big one right here where these six spaces are. So let's fill all this in on each side. And have maybe that one's good and a couple more down there. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then we'll have another set right above the bed. Lined up where the headboard is. I actually think I'm going to make these all single block paintings. I think that'll look better. So yeah, I think that's good. And now the final thing we're going to do here for this space. Well, actually, let's delete this. Yeah, it's still bright enough. So the final thing I'm going to do is add the carpet around the edge of the bed. So let's maybe start with the white carpet. Have it right around here. And then how about a strip of the light gray right down the middle. And then the rest of it gray over here. Yeah, that looks good. Looks pretty dark over here. How about we grab the sea lantern again. And we'll have a light right here underneath the rug. Add that back. So that brightened up that area. And now we should be good. So this bedroom is complete. We'll head on into the bathroom next. So now I have all the items we're going to be using for this bathroom. Be sure to grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz, the stairs and the slabs again, and then the sea lantern, the white and light gray carpet, birch and iron trap door, white stained glass panes, the white banner, a painting, the birch and stone button, tripwire hook, lever, weighted pressure plate, and then I have a couple items for within the flower pot, a bucket of water, and a hopper. Let's start here at this back wall where the bathtub is going to be. So we'll have two full blocks of smooth quartz here. And then the rest of this space here where these eight spaces are is going to be smooth quartz stairs all curving together. We'll carve out a hole in the wall here where these four spaces are. Down here at the bottom, we'll replace these two spaces with smooth quartz blocks. And then we'll have iron trap doors as a little shelf here. And then we have the white stained glass panes. I'll fill in just these two spaces. Bring it all the way up till right there. So four in height. And now back to the full blocks of the smooth quartz. So I'm going to have the sink area over here. So how about three full blocks? We'll skip over this space. And then another two right there. Over on this wall, I'm going to have the toilet. So right around this space, we'll have a full block the upside down stair, and a slab. And then in the floor, I'm going to have a sea lantern right around here as a nice light source. And then I'm going to cover that up with some carpet. We can then delete this one up here. Back to the iron trap doors. I'm going to have a shelf right here. Let's have the hopper right here. 
Any then the birch trap doors in front of all these fool blocks. Any that will crouch and have another one in front of the hopper. We can have a birch button right around here, so it's a bar of soap. We can have another one over here. I have the stone button, we could place it there so it's like the handle to the toilet. The tripwire hook can be over here for the faucet of the shower area. And then I have a flower pot which we could have up here. And another one right around here. The white banner could be here for a towel. Another one over here. We could crouch, fill this hopper in with a bucket of water. Do the same for the bathtub. And then on this wall, I want to be sure to have a painting. So let me maybe add some trap doors like this. And then a painting right there. I kind of want it to be this one right here. It matches the rest of the colors that we have in here. And then we need the lever, the weighted pressure plate, and the items for within the item frames. So the lever will be right here. So, oh, okay, hang on. We have to do the, uh, the trap doors first. And then the lever. So there we go. And then let me grab that flower pot again, place it back, fill these in with those two items. Weighted pressure plate could be right here. And I think at the original build I also left this space empty as well, for the counter space. And I want to move this flower pot over to this side, because it looks a little bit empty over here. And this side already has the banner and the button, so now it's kind of more evened out. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that here for this bathroom. This all looks really nice. And then let's do the few little things that we have here for this hallway. So for this hallway, I have the anvil, the jungle leaves, the smooth quartz stairs and slabs, the lantern, and then some gray concrete. Let's start with the anvil and the jungle leaves. I'm just going to have that right here where this space of three is. Over on this side, I'm going to have a little cutout in the wall. So we could just delete this single strip. I'll bring it all the way up to the beam. And you can see here, we're going to have to replace this block of the dirt with some gray concrete. We're then going to have an upside down smooth quartz stair there. And then we'll have a smooth quartz slab just half a block above that. And then we'll have another... You could either do a slab right there. Or a stair. I feel like the slab looks better. Yeah, I'll go ahead and leave it like that. And then right here, I'm just going to have a lantern... So that's going to be a nice light source here for this hallway. Let's be sure to get rid of these. So yeah, that alone brightens this up. But I am going to have another cutout over here. Just the same way. So replace this block of dirt with the gray concrete. We'll have a stair, the slab, the lantern, and another slab. How about we do this space back here as well? So we can maybe have another anvil with the leaves right here. Another cutout in the wall right here. We're going to have to grab some light gray concrete, replace that part of the floor. And then just the same design again with the stair, the slab, the lantern, and the slab again. We could get rid of that. And then over here, right underneath the staircase, let's be sure to have a table. So with the smooth quartz stairs, I'll have one right here and another one here. And then in the middle, in between those, let's grab an iron trap door. So we'll place that right down the middle. Let's be sure to move all these items out of the way and let's add some decorations on that table. So how about the flower pot? Let's also be sure to grab a flower. Let's do a painting as well, an end rod, the sea turtle eggs, and a wither skeleton skull. So, we could have the end rod right here with the skeleton skull on top of that. Let's then delete this. And that is going to be a nice light source here. And then we could have a flower pot right here in the middle. And then maybe some sea turtle eggs stacked up on this side. And then I think I want a painting maybe right around here. I kind of want to flip this around because I want a painting right here. And this lantern's kind of getting in the way. So first, let's be sure to add the painting. I think that one's fine. Lantern over here, like the little lamp over here. And then the sea turtle eggs on this side. So yeah, I think that's good. So that's going to be everything here for this hallway and this one. And you know what? 
how about we also do this office? And he said, well, head back up and do the dining room. So let's do this office next. So I gathered up everything here for this office. I have the spruce trap doors, spruce stairs, stone pressure plate, stone button, dark oak slabs, dark oak door, the light gray banner, spruce signs, some sea turtle eggs, the end rod, skeleton skull, painting, smooth quartz block, birch trap doors, a flower pot, and then a flower, and then the wither skeleton skull, lantern, and a couple more items for within the flower pot. So let's start with the spruce trap doors. I'm going to add some shelves here on this back wall. So we could add some trap doors here on that first layer, and then some more right here on the second layer. And then let's add all the decorations on that. So first of all, I want to be sure to add a lantern. So that's going to be the main light source here for this back wall. And then let's grab a couple flower pots and a couple of these skeleton skulls. So how about a flower pot right here and another one here. And then a skeleton skull right here. And another one maybe right here. Let's also add maybe a few stacks of the sea turtle eggs over here. There we go. How about these two items here for the flower pots? And we'll leave it at that for the back wall. Let's flip around. I'm going to have a little table over here. So smooth quartz blocks, the trap doors, the flower pot, another of the flowers. So let's see how that's going to be. So we have the full blocks, the birch trap doors in front of them, and then the flower pot on top of that. And then we have the desk. So let's grab the dark oak slabs, the dark oak door, and then the spruce stairs and spruce trap doors. And then we also need the spruce sign and the light gray banner. And then we will also need an end rod. And how about the regular skeleton skull? So we have the dark oak slab, which will be right here with the door right behind it and a spruce sign on each side of that. And then we'll crouch and have a light gray banner in front of the door. Now let's have the spruce stairs. So we're going to have to place a temporary one, and then one right next to it. We could delete this. Have another one. Do the same on this side. And then we'll have two spruce trap doors in between that. And then an end rod right here. With the skeleton skull. Let's grab the stone pressure plate, the stone button, the paintings. The uh, stone pressure plate could be right here. Actually, we still need the spruce trap door, so let's grab that. And we'll be sure to crouch, place it right there, and flip it up. And then we have to crouch again and have the painting. And then we can have the stone button. So this is going to be a laptop. And then I do want to be sure to have some more paintings over here on this wall. And after that, that'll be it here for the office. Let's delete this, because now we have enough light in here. And let's be sure to add some blocks and then add some paintings. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that here for this office. And I want to be sure to maybe do this dining room next. So now I have everything here for this dining room. So be sure to grab the dark oak trap doors, the smooth quartz slabs, the iron door, some white banners, the anvil and jungle leaves, and then the end rod, iron trap doors, white stained glass paints, and then some paintings, flower pots, item frames, and then a bunch of food items for within those item frames. So let's start with the anvils. Right off the bat, we could place these in each corner here with the jungle leaves. And now those we could get rid of. That's going to be the only use. And now we have the dark oak trap doors. I'm going to have these on the final edge of these gray concrete blocks right down the middle we'll flip them up so just leaving two spaces on each side we'll do the same over here and then we could kind of just crouch and have some more going straight across from one side to the other and that's going to be the only use for the dark oak trap doors we could get rid of those now we have the smooth quartz slabs we're going to have three on each side for the start of the chairs. 
Behind those will have an iron door. And so we'll be sure to crouch and have some white banners. Let's grab the item frames and the flower pots. So I have an item frame, we'll be sure to crouch. And I have these in front of all of the chairs. Instead I just want to have a few flower pots so it looks like some cups. Like that. And now let's grab all of the food and fill in all the item frames. Now I have the white stained glass panes, the end rod, and the iron trap doors, which is going to be the light hanging above the table. So I have the white stained glass panes first. I'm going to be on this third block where we have this beam. Place the glass right there. And then we'll be on the opposite side, so right here. And we'll have another one. And then we could have the end rod right below that. And then four iron trap doors underneath this one going in this direction and then another four starting underneath this one going in the other direction and then we're just going to connect them together right there and then i do want to be sure to flip around these end rods so this end is facing towards the trap doors so now we have a nice seamless transition here and then it looks like that part of the end rod is connected to the trap doors. And then let's get rid of these extra sea lanterns. And now there's one final thing I want to do. And that is some paintings over here on this wall. Just right here. I think will be good. Yeah, that's good. And now we just have to do the kitchen, this bedroom, and bathroom for the rest of the first floor. And then we have everything for the second floor still. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part 5 for this tutorial on how to build this modern mansion. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 6. We'll then be finishing the build.